um, in this uh, performance, we have the three parts. The first one is about the Beijing Opera, uh, which is uh, very famous all over the world, and some person think that is the representative about the Chinese culture. And all the uh, all the performers is coming from the National Academy of Chinese Theater Arts, which is the only university in China to study the Chinese opera and the Chinese culture. And the second part is uh, uh, Chinese folk songs and our outstanding soprano, Miss Zhang Hong, will sing two songs to the audience and uh, all the songs describe the Chinese, um, how to say, the grassland and in the white side of the China. And the third part is the Chinese traditional music instrument. Um, our performer is the uh, young performer is uh, Mr. Cao He Ran, will show his very good skill in the bamboo flute. That is a very very famous Chinese traditional instrument. Yep. So all the performance almost eight minutes, eight minutes. So I think maybe all the audience can uh, can see a fantastic and beautiful and very traditional Chinese culture. Yeah. Uh, because a lot of our performance are coming from the China and uh, they have studied the Chinese culture for, from the very young kids, almost uh, maybe six, maybe seven years. And although they are so young, but they have learned a lot, uh, they have studied the Chinese opera for almost uh, maybe more than 15 years. So we have paid a lot of energies behind the, the performance. And we come from the, the CICO, that means the Confucius Institute of the uh, Chinese Opera at Binghamton University. So our Confucius is the only one in the world to focus on the Chinese traditional culture. So the, our main mission is to spread the Chinese culture to all over the American. So we hope a lot of the American can, can understand what is the Chinese culture what is the Chinese traditional culture, and what is the best uh, traditional uh, culture, especially the Beijing Opera. So we have made a lot of the, we have listed 10 years about this area. So we have made a lot of the effort behind the, the performance, yeah. Because I think uh, as a young guy, uh, the, the world, uh, getting more and more, uh, getting smaller and smaller because, uh, uh, how to say, the science and the technical. But uh, if you want to uh, know a lot of the guys all over the the country, all over the world, you need to know what is the real about this these persons, especially use the uh, art. I think maybe art like a key to open the door. If you want to open the uh, for example, if you, want, if you want to know what is a Chinese person, you want to open the China this door, and you need to use the Chinese tradition as a key to open the door and to see what is the, the real, how to say, the real, what is the re reality of the China and what is the reality of the Chinese culture. So art is very important to the, culture, to the, uh, to the young persons, especially to the United students, and uh, because every day they can view from the website and know a lot of the the world what is it and uh, they can use a cell phone to to text with other guys all over the world but sometimes they don't have the a lot of opportunities to watch the traditional culture so that's why we come here to spread our culture to all over the american especially you the in the nebraska we want to give the nebraska united students have the performance of the traditional Chinese culture. We hope, just like I said, and we hope they can know what is the Chinese culture. Because we can see a lot of the report from the newspaper, from the, on the TV set or on the website that it describes Chinese culture. But if you can sit in the theater to watch the performance by yourself, I think it's very shocked. And I think it's fantastic. Not only my, I am the Chinese. Trust me, you can feel the different feeling about this, this performance. Because um, 
on the website or on the, in the newspaper, it's just a photo or the video. But when you sit down in, sit in the, the theater, watch the performance, you will feel some different feelings like the, you will, how to say, you will be taken into the support. Support and you will just like a hero, like, like a general or like some other guys in the, in the, in the stories. So it's a very different. So we hope the person can, um, how to say, can um, understand or can uh, feel the different feeling from our the performance. So that's, that is what we want to take to the audience. We have this part because we just want to let a lot of the students from the Nebraska Univers uh, University to have the opportunities to, how to say, to try by themselves what is the Chinese traditional culture. For example, this afternoon we will have the outreach and uh, we have a lot of part to interaction with the, the teachers and with the performers. They can try the movements and they can try how to sing the Chinese song. They can try how to speak the Chinese word. They can, especially in the, the how to say, in Beijing Opera, because the tones, the pronunciation is very different from the Mandarins and from the common persons. So I think it's very funny and it's very interesting for the students to try it. Because I'm a Chinese and I think the Chinese culture is uh, it's not the Chinese culture, it's all over the world because the art and the culture is, I think, is no country boundary and uh, uh, it belongs to the human being all over the world. So I think the uh, Chinese culture is, uh, how to say, it's very important to, to, to me because I'm the Chinese and it's very important to the world culture and the world arts because the Chinese has a much population in the world and the, the China is the almost a 6,000 years long history. So Chinese culture is a very, very important part of the world culture. So my PhD is focused on how to spread the Chinese culture all over the world. Now I'm in America and I just want to uh, spread the Beijing Opera to all American and I hope that lots of the American persons can know what is the Chinese culture, what is Chinese traditional culture. Maybe sometimes we, we want to they know the, what is the China, what is the Chinese person, Chinese people. So that is very important because uh, China and America is a very, very, how to say, it's a, the, the top two countries all over the world. So we need to communicate with each other more and more, and we can have a lot of cooperation between each other, especially in the culture area or the art area. So I think it's very important to us. Yeah. I think uh, the first is the, so maybe we can have just like the performance. We can let a lot of the American people to come to the theater to watch the performance and uh, to to appreciate the performance because it's a very, very important experience for the persons to sit in the theater, to watch the, the theater, just like the Broadway American, like the, some other theater types. So I think it's the first step. And the second is, uh, I think, just like we, what we did is the outreach or the workshop, some of the small workshop. We hope uh, a lot of the publicans a lot of students can join us to try what is the, how to say, what is the real feeling about the Chinese opera. And maybe just the third step, and maybe just like what we, we, we did in the Beheimden University. And we have the class, we have the license about the Chinese theater. A lot of students want to choose this license, and they want to study how to movement like a Chinese uh, like a Chinese artist and they want to try what is the real feeling about the Chinese art, uh, Chinese art. and we I think it's very important for the for the for the American people to have these feelings or the experience for that yeah
when I was almost, um, I think maybe, I, I, I forgot it's very exact because it's a long time. I think maybe when I was six years old, I have studied the learned violin because my, one day I was on the TV set, a, a, a program is about the chamber artist, how to say, it's a chamber artistry. And I saw some person play the violin. Oh, it's very funny. I use my, what, you know, the chopsticks. I use one chopstick under my shoulder and another one is like the, <laughs> the bones, yes. I played it and my mom said, you, you want to play the violin? Yes, I want to try. And my mom takes to a teacher and he taught me almost for 10 years. When I almost uh, 70 years old, I stopped it because I had the examination to go into the university. So when I um, finished my master, master degree, I went to the National Academy of Chinese Theater Art. It's my university in China. So I worked how to combine the Chinese culture with the Western skills, technologies, how to um, communicate the Chinese culture with the new media arts like the cell phone, laptop, uh, computer, or other types of the new media. So I feel it's very, very interesting and it's very funny and it's very important to us to communicate the art to all over the world. So I came here on this January and uh, I think it's very funny and when I arrived as an American, a lot of Americans want to know, eager to know what is the Chinese culture. And we did a lot of the performance and uh, every time there is a lot of audience who sit with us and when we finish, they went to, on the stage and want to take a photo with that and ask us a lot of the questions about Chinese culture. So I think it's very important. The Chinese culture is a very important part to the American, no, to the world culture and to the world arts. So I think it's very interesting and it's, it's very important. On our performance, we have uh, four Beijing Opera performance. You can, you can watch eight, you can watch eight perform, uh, programs on the stage. And, uh, but we only have five, four, five, I forgot, <laughs> maybe five. Uh, we, ha we only have uh, four. Chinese Beijing opera performers and one Chinese bamboo, uh, Chinese bamboo flute players and one Chinese folk song soprano. So all the guys is very professional. And uh, the, perfect, uh, the performer of the Beijing opera, the first one is uh, Miss Zhu Chenfu. She is, uh, how to say, she is a very famous art, art actress in China. Now she is uh, the professor of the Beijing opera in my university in China. And she will play uh, um, a very, very famous speaking opera, but I cannot speak to you the name because I want to keep some miracle <laughs> secret to you, so I'm sorry. And the second one is uh, Miss Chen Shuang, Li Chen Shuang. He's very young, he's very, very young, but she's very, very good, very professional. The Wu Sheng is like the warrior. She can make a lot of very good movements on the stage. You will be shocked by the skills of the Beijing Opera. The third one is uh, Mr. Li Yunjing. She will, just like you know on the website, uh, has a painting on the face, and like a general. And she will play two performances of the Beijing Opera. And the, the fourth one is the girl. She's name, her name is uh, Miss, uh, Miss, sorry. Miss Li Bo, uh, he will play two pro programs and uh, it, she will show you the, the female skill on the, in the Beijing Opera. And uh, the bamboo flute player is named Cao He Ran. He's now is the master in our university. And he will play the bamboo flute almost, he had learned almost more than 10 years. Yes, he's so young, but he has played a long time. So it's very, very, very beautiful, trust me. And uh, the last one is our the Chinese folk song, uh, Serrano, is Miss Zhang Hong. She is a very famous, no, she is American. She is very famous in America, especially in the New York State. Uh, she almost has seen the Chinese folk song more than 30 or 40 years. Yes, maybe more than 40 years. So I think all our performer is very, 
because it's very professional and it's very, the, the show, the performance is very, is, I, I think it's very wonderful and it's very fantastic. I, I will hope you can love it. <laughs> okay. That brought me last question. Okay. What is your favorite part of all the performances? What you personally love? You mean on the stage? Oh, yes. Ah, oh, it's uh, very hot. I repeat a lot, but uh, actually I, I love two parts. The first one is uh, uh, Miss Zhu Chen Fu. She almost uh, maybe 50 years old, and she will play a young girl with the Chinese opera. You will see a very, very funny actors on this on this part in, in this part because it, she will play a um, how to say it very hard uh, act without any item. I don't know you, you make sense about that. Yes, uh, act uh, act without any item. It's very funny and it's very very. Uh, how to say it's very wonderful about that. The second one is the last is the last program. It's the Xiaoshang River. The last program is uh, describe a history, true history story in Chinese in Chinese history, and uh, all the, there are two performers on the stage, and all the skill is very very fantastic. That show the what is the real in the Chinese. Uh, in the Beijing Opera, the scale and the, they can move like the, a lot of the movements just like a Kung Fu. It's very funny. <laughs> Trust me, yeah.